boys today the plan is gonna be a fun one all right today we're ranking every single star wars movie and tv show that we've seen so hey make sure you enjoy and also a new hope is what started it all off uh but that doesn't matter is it a good movie yes is it is it super entertaining no absolutely not I, I it's honestly, council member or master I think it, it's hard to say. Council member or master? I think it's better than episode two, Attack of the Clones. But it's not that entertaining. But we'll put it, we'll put it there. <laughs> what the shit is- I'm sorry. Did I fucking smell some motherfucking Baba Booey bullshit? I was told to give my Star Wars tier list- because somebody isn't as factual, not naming any names, somebody is, you know, over here, tripping ball sack. Phantom Menace. Here we, this is the, uh, technically episode one in the chronological order. Um, Qui-Gon Jinn, Liam Neeson, great fucking character. Also, we have young Daddy One Kenobi, and then we have the little bitch boy, Annie, who thinks he can flirt with um, the queen of Naboo, but base, but you know, and we also have kick-ass Darth Maul with that. So basically, mm, let's think about this. I'm gonna put this. Let's put it at master, cause it wasn't like. I think I might put it at, as a master, just cause it wasn't like. It was pretty good. It's pretty slow up until like the end because you know um, the ending was gr pretty great, and everybody knows that it was pod racing. Now this is pod racing. Um. Okay, then we have Attack of the Clones, fucking snooze fest. Holy God, that was compared to Phantom Menace, not that great. I, I, I mean, Django Fett was in it, and Django Fett's kind of a badass. And then also we have our amazing memes. I don't like sand. Anyway, so we're just gonna, I think we're gonna put that as night. It's it's kind of a snooze fest. The, you know, the dialogue just, uh, it, I will agree with uh, Sinky G on this one. The dialogue is horrid. I don't like sand. Sand, 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 sand. All right, Revenge of the Sith. A new Hope! Now, here's where I got mad at Sinky G. I am an original trilogy fan. I am an... I think these are the best, strictly because, yes, they're old, and yes, yes, the effects and the special effects are outdated, but that's why they're so great, in my opinion. I honestly, I think A New Hope is what, it's, it, it's what kicked it off. Um, I think the the storyline is amazing. It's just an all-around great movie. I could watch it a hundred times. It's perfect. I'll put it here That's pretty good. I like that Empire Strikes Back. Let's list the reasons why this is an amazing movie Battle of Hoth great opener 80 AT 80s sick Boba Fett unit uh, the fight between Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader the, f uh, the twist, Darth Vader being Luke Skywalker's dad, one of the greatest twists of all in, mo in cinema history. At, uh, and then we find out also that, and, and this is why I think this is a great movie, because we also find out that Darth Vader isn't like the big bad guy. We also think, we also find, I think this is the first time we're introduced to the Emperor. Uh, I don't, th or maybe he was mentioned in A New Hope, I don't really remember. I think this is a council member, bro. I think that, mm, 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 great movie. Great movie. Return of the Jedi. This is my favorite Star Wars movie. The fight on Endor. We have the another Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader fight. Um, Luke Skywalker has his sick green lightsaber. Uh, Jabba's palace. Boba Fett once again being a badass, except for like the part where he falls into the, uh, a fucking vagina in the ground, which is... It's okay. This is my favorite movie. I think this is also a council member. But I'm going to put it in front of Empire Strikes Back only because 
Well, I'm gonna actually no, I take that back. I'm gonna put it after Empire Strikes Back because just because of the twist at the end of Empire Strikes Back makes that movie unreal. Now, now we get into the trenches a little bit. We now we have to start fighting in the trenches. Force Awakens. I think Force Awakens gets a bad rap. Uh, I think that movie was actually pretty good, only because like. You know, we've been wait. We were waiting for so long after *Revenge of the Sith*, and then we get this new, new Star Wars trilogy with new characters, new storyline, and we're and the, the effects look amazing. And we were, I was when I was in middle school, I was so excited to see this. I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'll put that as a, I'll put that as a night. Honestly, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're, I'd rather watch Force Awakens than Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones is so boring. So boring. Now, um... Okay. Next one. Rogue One. Here we go. Rogue One. Amazing film. Great, great movie. Uh, you know, I... We, it didn't dawn on me until the very end when I was like, Oh, shit. This makes sense. And that's why it was so good to me. Also, we had also the blind, the the blind Jedi wannabe looking guy. Forget his name. He was sick. Um, it's just overall, it was great. I'm gonna put that up here. Solo, a Star Wars story. I think it was a great portrayal of Han Solo. We also got badass Darth Maul making a reappearance at the very end. Uh, I think I think also how they connected to uh, Han Solo's. Um, Kessel Run story. I, f I like that. I think that was pretty good. I'll put it as night, but I will put Attack of the Clones at the very end. Actually, you know what? Fuck Attack of the Clones. We're going. We're making that a paddle one. Cause fuck that shit. Star Wars: The Clone Wars movie. Now, um, I have only. I think I've only seen this like one time. This was pretty good, but you know, it, it was kind of like a warm up. I feel like. I feel like this. Sh this was like a, okay, get ready. And then they came out with the show, and then, you know. So once I'll put this over here. So like I said, we had the warm up of the sh the movie, and then they came out with this golden masterpiece, Star Wars: The Clone Wars, the TV show. It's not a kid show. That's all I have to say. People are like, that's a kid show. It's not. It's you actually develop feelings for like useless character. Like you, you never thought that you'd be having feelings for uh, clone troopers. You do. You feel for them. All right, Star Wars Rebels. I haven't seen all of it, but I heard it's amazing. Mm, we're gonna change that. That yeah, that's that feels better. All right, I'll put Rebels in the master rank too. I haven't seen all of it, but from what I've known and what I've seen on the internet and how people are basically feeling about it, I'm, I'm, I, I think it's, I think it's got, it's gotten good reviews, and from what I've seen, I've liked it. Mandalorian. <sighs> I don't know. Um, Mandalorian, live action TV Star Wars, never done before. I think I'm gonna put it af after Clone Wars only because this is basically how every Mandalorian episode went in the first season. It was just pretty much like, oh no, we need something. Let's go to this new planet and try and find it. Oh, you need this? Go kill that creature and we'll give it to you. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay, here's your thing. And then here's Baby Yoda looking cute. And that's pretty much it. Mm, I haven't seen this. I honestly don't know what this is. <laughs> I just, let's put that there. Let's put this right here. And these are tied. So here's what I've come up with. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. Here come the hate comments. Here comes the... the, the... Are you fucking serious? Did you think this is better than- Yes! Here we go. Shut up. Grandmaster. We got Revenge of the Sith and we got Empire Strikes Back. They're tied. I think those are both the great- the best Star Wars movies that have come out. Uh, I think th th those are just the best ones. Then we have Clone Wars, the show, and Mandalorian. Both great shows. You know, amazing. Return of the Jedi- oh wait. Yeah, Return of the Jedi, then A New Hope. I'm an original trilogy fan. I think those are the. I think those are the. Those are, those are the better movies. Rogue One, Phantom Menace, Rebels. 
That's pretty good. I like that. Force Awakens solo. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Attack of the Clones, Clone Wars movie. I think this is good. And then we have... And I haven't seen that. And So what'd you guys think?